Hey guys, I'm back. <laughs> I'm finally back. It's been like three weeks. Uh, have you missed me? Just a little bit? I have missed you. I have missed you, but I'm so happy to be back. You don't appreciate how much you love home until you come back from a long trip. And that's what just happened. I came back home and I was like, oh, this is what it is. I, I love this place. I, I, I don't know. Like, it's so weird, that attachment that we have to that little nest that we built. So it's great to be back home and it's great to be back in front of the camera to make videos. So what have I been doing? I have a list of things here that I've been doing. I, I went to visit my family in Mexico. My mom, my dad, and my brother. Love them. Hola, Hola Chaparro. Hola, mamá. I give a talk about user experience. I give a design workshop at my university. That was super fun. Uh, all the new students coming from Mexico, I, I, that was great. I played a show with my teenage years punk rock band. Yes, I used to be a punk rocker and we got together and we played again, but now we're all old and fat and ugly. But, but we're also young at heart, so that was fun. I also played with my cumbia band in San Diego, and cumbia is like a, like a Latin dance music, just like, you know, like, I, I, I don't know what I'm doing. But yeah, it, it was pretty fun. It's called Azúcar. So yeah, the, the last two and a half weeks have been kind of musical, and I've been all over the place. And my hair is now long enough that I can make a man bun. Let's try to do it with the microphone here. <laughs> but anyway, enough about me. There are 10, not five, 10, 10 big updates in the design industry in the last two, three weeks. And it's, it's, it's awesome. So I want to just go over the list of these big updates and I'm adding also links in the description about all these things. So number one, uh, Shopify released their design system called Polaris, uh, which helps them create great experiences for their merchants. And they share their design principles, writing and visual guidelines, and they also share React components. And not only that, but a pretty cool UI kit in the form of a very well-organized sketch file. You should check it out. I'm adding the link there. Number two, Atlassian, 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 I don't know how you pronounce it, Atlassian, <laughs> did pretty much the same as Shopify, and they released their design language, which gives you great insights into their thinking behind their brand, their product, their marketing. Uh, it's very well thought out, and, and I think it's uh, if, if you really want to learn more about how companies can work on their personalities, on their styles, and their, their language, you should definitely check it out. Also, another company that just released their design language was Microsoft. And this is this one is a huge one. It's a design system that aims to create better sensory experiences. And not just on screens, but also on touch, on audio, on light, depth, across dimensions. And, and I think it's really... I don't know, really ambitious and, and, and it's pretty cool. Uh, and, and it sounds like their version of material design. Right now, it feels like in its early stages, but I'm excited to see how it evolves over time. So good move, Microsoft, really good move. So the beta version for Sketch 44 has just been released and there are some improvements into their aligning and resizing options. You can specify to which side you want your layers to pin, and you can set fixed widths or, or fixed heights. And now the constraints are not limited to groups or symbols, but also to artboards, which makes it really similar to what you can currently do with the Auto Layout plugin. I'll make a video about this in the future, uh, but if you really want to know more about this, uh, John Moore from UX Power Tools, uh, they released an article which goes pretty in depth so I'm going to share a link about that. Also, huge, huge update from Anima app, which just released Launchpad, which allows you to publish responsive websites directly from Sketch. Yes, let that sink in. You can publish websites 
directly from Sketch. You can link pages, add input text forms, uh, add buttons, uh, preview your project in HTML in the browser. And not only that, but also you can assign different breakpoints to different pages and even publish websites with a custom domain. It's just one of those things that you think, why didn't this exist before? And I'm going to cover more in detail in the next episode. I'm already working in some demo files and some tutorials, so it's going to be fun. Also, Flinto, one of my favorite prototyping tools, just released a huge update. It now supports text layers. They now have vector shape tool. You can animate vectors in your prototypes. No more pixelated PNGs. Amazing. And if you're familiar with Flinto, you will know that it will always flatten your groups. Well, that's not happening anymore. Good job, Flinto. Also, Framer made a major upgrade to their UI. It's much friendlier and easier to use. They also added handoff ability, so you can reuse your animations on implementation. And seriously, awesome stuff. So I'm adding a link to that stuff too. Also, something huge. Airbnb introduced a new open source library called React Sketch App. It helps bridging the gap between designers and engineers working on design systems at scale. It has seamless integration with your data. You can create layouts using Flexbox, and you can create design systems that you and your development team will be able to use. The old question, should designers code this product just answers that question. Yes, my designer friends, we should code. So I'm adding a link to that too. Also, UX Power Tools just released a mobile version of their uh, design system, and, and it's on Sketch. It's a great way to start a web or a mobile project. It's kind of like Bootstrap, but on Sketch, like a design system with all the components, all the different elements, it's there, and you just add your own typography, your own colors, and you're ready to create a project from scratch, but with everything there. All the hard work is done for you. So pretty cool stuff, but now in mobile. Also, Chainless Cell Plug. I just released the podcast we have been working on called Diseño Cha Cha Cha. And it's a podcast in Spanish about design and the stories of different Latinos in the tech industry. We did this to offer the microphone to those that usually don't have it and so they can tell their story and also to tell us what it's like solving the toughest design challenges in the tech industry. We decided to make this podcast in Spanish so that you, the design student that is just starting in Caracas or the professional that is struggling in Veracruz or the discouraged dreamer in Bogota could hear voices just like yours, speaking the same language with similar backgrounds on this side of the border. Regardless of what you hear on our current political climate, this industry needs more diversity. From the smallest startups to the biggest companies, there's an effort to connect individuals across the world. And these places need people like you to represent their global communities. So hopefully this podcast encourages you to follow a career in something you love, whatever you are. And it's called Diseño Cha Cha Cha. I'm adding a link to that too. And also YouTube has a redesign. Have you noticed? What do you think about it? Do you like it? I kind of like it, but I don't know. What do you think? It's pretty simple and airy, right? Anyway, I would love to hear your opinions. Uh, check out the links. Uh, I'm going to, I'm back. I'm back. I'm going to be making more videos. Thank you for being there. Thank you for subscribing. And thank you for, for being so patient. And bye-bye.